بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اینڈ ویلکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ہوپ یو آر آل ڈوئنگ ویل ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ٹوڈے یو اسٹارٹ گرامر ایڈورس اینڈ ایڈورس سو ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس واٹ از ایڈورس سو ایڈورس آر ورڈس یوز ٹو موڈیفائی ورڈس ایڈورس کین آلسو بی یوز ٹو موڈیفائی ایڈجیکٹوز اینڈ ادر ایڈورس سو ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس An adverb is a word that modifies a verb. For example, he sings loudly. An adjective, very tall. Another adverb, end it too quickly. Or even a whole sentence. For example, fortunately, I had brought an umbrella. So, adverbs often end in L-Y. But... Some, such as fast, look exactly the same as their adjective counterparts. So, dear students, uh, I will give you an example. Uh, for example, uh, Tom Longbot did not run badly. And Tom is very tall. Uh, the race finished too quickly. And... Fortunately, you see, recorded Tom's win. So, it's easy to identify adverbs in these sentences. So, the adverb in the sentence, Tom long bought did not run badly. So, here the adverb is badly. Tom is very tall. In this sentence, The adverb is very. The rest finished too quickly. So in this sentence, too is the adverb. Fortunately, you see recorded Tom's win. In this sentence, fortunately is the adverb. So dear students, in simple words, adverbs and uh, verbs are One of the things adverbs do is modify verbs and this means that they describe the way an action is happening. For example, Philip sings loudly in the shower. So, here the adverb is loudly. So, here the adverb loudly represent that in what manner Philip is singing. Now, dear students, what are adverbials? So, adverbial is a word or phrase functioning as a major clause, constituent and typically expressing place. For example, in the garden, time, for example, in May or manner. For example, in a strange way. Or in simple words, an adverbial is a word or phrase that has been used like an adverb to add detail or further further information to a verb. So, adverbials are used to explain how, where or when something happened. They are like adverbs made up of more than one word. So, dear students, the question here is that is there any difference between an adverb or and an adverbial? So, adverbs modify verbs, adjectives and other adverbs. Meanwhile, uh, adverbials act like adverbs to modify a verb or a clause and adverbials can consist of a single word or an entire phrase. For example, adverbials provide further detail to host of questions including how did this happen, when did this happen, where did this happen and why did this happen. For example, I will give you an example of adverbs and adverbials so 
first i would like to give you an example of adverbs so uh, dear students for example uh, we have a sentence he talks quickly so here the adverb quickly is modifying the verb talks he talks quickly the adverb quickly is modifying the verb talks and for example she wrote slowly so here the adverb slowly is modifying the verb wrote and james sadly returned home so here the adverb sadly is modifying the verb returned and now the examples of adverbials so the first example is during the week i walked to the village so in this sentence the adverbial is placed at the beginning of the sentence which is during the week and the second example is i walked to the village during the week so here the adverbial is placed at the end of the sentence during the week i walked to the village during the week another example we have i always stop and chat with the locals so here the adverbial is placed just before the verb which is always so dear students these were the definitions and examples of adverbs and adverbials and now what you have to do is solve exercise a in your notebooks now dear students on page number 73 we have comparative and superlative so what is comparative the students comparative adverbs compare the action verb of two people or things for example samina ran faster than jamila so in simple words adjectives in the comparative form compare two people places or things and i will give you another example for example in the sentence john is smarter but bob is taller so the comparative forms of the adjectives smart and tall are used to compare two people john and bob so here Semina and Jamila are compared. And in more easy words, uh, comparative adjectives are used to compare differences between the two objects. They modify larger, smaller, faster, or higher. And they are used in sentences where two nouns are compared. in this pattern noun for example subject plus verb plus comparative adjective plus then plus noun object so comparative adjectives are used to compare differences between two objects two people animals now what is superlative so superlative adverbs compare the action verb of a group larger than two and the example here we have sikandar sang loudest in the choir so in this sentence a superlative adverb is loudest Our dear students, in simple words, we can say that superlative adjectives are used to compare three or more nouns, and they are also used to compare one thing against the rest of a group. 
so superlative adjectives demonstrate a higher level of comparison between entities for example she is the prettiest princess in all the land now for the adverbs that end in ly comparative form add more as in more sweetly superlative form add most as in most sweetly and here we have some short adverbs number 3 hard fast early late so the comparative here will be use er ending as in later and the superlative use est ending as in latest so dear students in short adverbs for example we have here some adverbs hard fast early late so if we uh, use a comparative so uh, in this comparative we will use the word adverb let as later and in superlative we will use the verb adverb let as latest and change words ending in y to i as in earlier earliest and number 4 we have special adverbs for example well badly so in comparative we will use better worse and in superlative we will use best worst okay so dear students uh, this was your lecture for today i hope you will understand thank you so much allah hafiz